<clears throat> all right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to start off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. And salutations to the hopeful elect brothers out there pushing this truth. All right, brothers pushing the truth, not brothers pushing lies, man. Because then you're not a, a true brother or a uh, a shepherd to the flock. All right? You know, and, and I'm showing this particular guy right here who uh, calls himself a new don. It used to be GMS a new don. Uh, same thing right there. But, hey, once he took the GMS off, he started going completely down the drain, man. Where... Uh, you know, I'm going to get it in this uh, scripture right here. Um, real quick. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 21. My son, fear thou the Lord Yahweh and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knoweth the ruin of them both? So, the scriptures talk about when you start changing up the doctrine from what you've learned, that it, it's going to be a destruction set up for you. So we understand, you know, that uh, it's going to be guys that's going to come out. These, these these are the guys, man. You know, this was their lot. Even though some of them were amongst us, they they were it was the same way back in the past. But this guy will be telling you that we're those pernicious men. And that we're the ones that's going off. But he's the one that came into something that he didn't know anything of, accepted it, and still start and started to change things that he learned. That's 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 what the Lord said he's gonna destroy. A man that starts to change. Meddle not with someone that's given unto change, man. Because it start before you know you got this madness. What was he saying? That we're already in the new covenant. And which, you know, we understand that we're not in the new covenant, but we're we're in the spirit of the new covenant. Under grace, you know, and I say in the spirit because Yahweh Shai he is fully in the new covenant. He's graduated to the point to where he, he he has his dominion. He's just about to come get it. He's sitting on the right hand side of the father. You know, it's set up spiritually and, and he doesn't have to teach. You know, right now we're just waiting on the Lord to return. And then we get the rest of that download. But right now we have an earnest. The earnest is, is, is this understanding, you know, this 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 this, this uh, truth. All right. Which this is this is basically citizenship of the of the kingdom, you know how we're gonna be, you know spiritually like Yahweh Shai, all right, being perfect, all right. But you got this guy saying the ministry of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles, the ministry of, the, of Jesus Christ, the supreme example of ministry must always be Jesus Christ, all right. And which he typed this, you know, most of this stuff he actually typed, bro, you know, uh, and he still was he. Hey, I, I haven't really heard him lately. You know, I tried to watch one of them long sit downs he did with like uh, five other bug outs. But I couldn't, hey, I couldn't watch that, man. I tried to get to the main points, you know, but they, they made a three hour and 10 video and, and, and uh, yeah, three hour and 10 minute video of nonsense, man. And now they're saying things like this. All right. That, that the Lord is coming for the Gentiles, man. And which when you read the scripture, and that's what's crazy because this guy actually knows that the Lord is not, man. You know, unless some demon then befell on him, you know, as the scriptures say, and 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 now he's engulfed in that madness. Uh, but yeah, he he's read the scriptures and he understood that what what the Lord would speak about uh, Israelite foreigners. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm just to cut that real quick. I'm gonna get that in this. You know, he understood that this was talking about uh, Israelites that were in in other lands, man. You know, I'm going to get a couple of scriptures. I'm going to grab uh, the, the St. John 7. I believe it is first. And then I'm going to run back to the Galatians. It's St. John chapter 7 verse. Uh, verse 34. And you shall seek me and shall not find me. And where I am, thither you cannot come. You know, because he was talking about, Yahweh was talking about being offered up as the sacrifice, you know, uh, in, in that time, you know. But, uh, and it was in even some scriptures, they, it was saying they thought he was going to, you know, he was talking about suicide. 
but you know the Higgler the Jews speaking right here, then said the Jews among them among themselves, whither will ye go that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? Let's read it in the C C S B. All right. Uh, St. John 7, 35. Then the Jews said to one another, where does he intend to go that we won't find him? He doesn't intend to go to the Jewish people of dis dispersed among the Greeks and teach the Greeks. Does he? Now it says Gentiles right here. So this is a complete cut to all this bull. This B, I'm excuse my language, this BS that this man just put right here. Now it's like you're doing this to come just to solely come against the doctrine, which that proves you're not a believer because you know that this all came from the Lord, man. All right. <laughs> but he's he's justified. He he basically justified this one chick that was uh saying that the uh, uh 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 not only Israel can be saved, man. Response to Jade Myers. This guy's in the chat, man. The 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 glizzy gobbler's in the chat, man. All right. And that's all that doctrine is, man. It's nothing but a, a, a bunch of madness. It's Christianity. It's that 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 uh, perverseness, man. That whole doctrine is, is perversion. I'm gonna get this Galatians. This is Galatians chapter three, starting at verse five. He therefore that ministers to you the Spirit and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith, which we understand that uh, uh, we. We do certain practices that uh, that were written uh, of the law. You know, us not being under the law, but Yahweh Shai followed these things as an example of what to do and how we would be in the kingdom. You know, this, this is a shadow of things to come. But understanding that we're going to falter, but our faith picks us back up so that we ask for forgiveness and we try to falter less and, 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 and beat this flesh into submission to be proper for when the Lord returns. That's a, that's a part of faith. You're going to do things that are well-pleasing unto the Most High. But verse 6, even as Abraham believed the Most High, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. But you know what? The, uh, it said that Abraham believed, and he ended up doing an act of, uh, of the law, which was, you know, of circumcision. He did as he was commanded because he believed, you know. He didn't, he didn't do it because he didn't believe, or he saw some carnal reward. He believed, and then the Lord showed him many things, man. All right. Verse seven. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Now, this isn't talking about uh, uh, somebody that says they believe that, that God exists or this, that, and the third. Or, you know, they'll even say, oh, yeah, what y'all say, saying does sound real. Hey, the Lord, hey if it's so real, the Lord is going to prove if you're an Israelite or not by you really coming into this faith. Now, we may say by the spirit, we see that this person is, is an Israelite and they very, very well may be. But to prove that you are an Israelite of the Most High, you know, not just of the seed, there you go, there you go with that. It's, it's not just of the seed, you know. You have to have a, a, a conduct that you follow unto the end. Because like Yahweh Shai said in, uh, you know, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, he said, um, was in St. John, the 8th chapter, around like the 32nd uh, verse, 33 something, it's, it's off in there, go read it. But he said, if ye continue in my in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. So who's the only people who are going to be saved and that are going to believe and do all this these works of the Lord are going to be Israelites no matter how they look. All right? No matter what tongue they speak. You know? They can look like a Hamite all day long, but it we're going to do that. Yahweh Shai. And he'd be te teaching in the name of Yahweh Shai, doing, saying and doing the same things that we're saying, which proves this thing is of the Spirit. In verse 8, in the scripture, foreseeing that, that the Most High would justify the heathen, we know who the heathen are, that it's talking about right here in this particular verse. As a matter of fact, it's a scripture I want to get. I think it's in like Kings.
I'm going to go back to 1 Kings 17 because I think it might be in there. Since I brought it up, I don't want to drop it. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, this is like this might be it. Cause I, it, I think it calls them nations. But it was talking to uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is a. Uh, I mean, it's like this is talking to Israel. Second Kings seventeen, thirty three. They feared the Lord Yahweh and served their own gods after the manner of the nations whom they carried away from thence. Now this is still talking about Israel. All right. They were serving idols. Unto this day, they do after the former manners. They fear not the Lord Yahweh, neither do they after their statutes or their ordinances, or after the law and, and commandment which the Lord Yahweh commanded the children of Jacob, whom he named Israel, with whom the Lord Yahweh ha had made a covenant and charged them, saying, You shall not fear other gods, nor bow yourselves to them, nor serve them, nor sacrifice to them. But the Lord Yahweh, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt, with great power and a stretched out arm, him ye shall fear, and him ye shall worship, and to him shall ye do sacrifice. And the statutes and the ordinances and the law and the commandment which he wrote for you, ye shall observe to do forevermore, and ye shall have, and ye shall not fear other gods. And the covenant that I have made with you, ye shall not forget, neither shall ye fear other gods. But the Lord Yahweh, your God, ye shall fear, and he shall deliver you out of the hand of your enemies. Howbeit they did not hearken, but they did after the former manner. So these nations feared the Lord Yahweh. And that's how you know that these are Israelites, because it said they feared the Lord Yahweh, but they were wicked. It called them nations, though, and it says, and served their graven images, both their children and their children's children, as did their fathers, so do they unto this day. You know, which, hey, man, that, that, that's the uh, Israel of the flesh that's not going to be saved. You know? In which you had many of their children, you know, in, in uh in, in different captivities that they came out of that understanding, you know, when Yahweh Shah had walked the scene, man. Like you, we have our, our brother Timothy, man, all right, whose father was a Greek. Now was his father an actual Greek? No, his father was a was a Greek speaking Jew. He was an Israelite. But going back to this Galatians, proving uh that uh that that's the reason why Timothy believed. All right, because we know that your lineage of who you are comes through your father. All right, the same thing proving that Cornelius was an Israelite is this scripture right here, uh, verse eight. It says in the scripture, foreseeing that the Most High would justify the heathen through faith, we were heathens because we were, we didn't know who we were and we followed after the heathen. All right, we, we were just a, a more raw version of a heathen, <laughs> you know, put under subjection of the heathen, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying. And these shall all nations be blessed. But we understand that uh, this isn't talking about all nations, not all nations as uh, outside of Israel, because a nation is really just a, a large, uh, large tribe, man. You know, even sometimes it'll call all the families of the earth tribes or it'll say families. It'll say that all the tribes of the earth, all the families, all the nations of the earth. You know, sometimes these words are, uh, 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 are translucent. You know, if I'm using the, the correct term, you know, it can be dual. Uh, but the whole point being is 
is that each tribe from the the nation of Israel is seen as a uh, as a nation. All right, and um, I think this is it. No, it's not. Hold on. Yeah, this is uh, Genesis 35 and 10. And the Most High said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. Yasharala, he prints power. And he called his name Yasharala, he prints power. And the Most High said unto him, I am the Most High Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee. Meaning of his seed line. That's why I said be fruitful and multiply. A company of nations. That's that's hey, Israel is the largest nation on the face of the earth. Shit. Most of it is made up of northern kingdom. Everybody say that damn, all these these uh, Hispanics everywhere, man. <laughs> but hey, you got to do the same way, man. Not to mention we're scattered amongst all these other nations. You know, you have niggas amongst these other nations that are actually legit. You know, Israelites, man, according to the seed. That's how vast and how large our nation is, man. But no, the actual heathen, the Lord did not come for. That's a, that's a part of the, the, the covenant. They're not, they were never made a part of the covenant. It said unto Abraham and his seed. He said not unto seeds as of many, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. All right. And a nation shall be of thee. And kings shall come out of thy loins. All right. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac to thee will I give it. This is the covenant. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The seeds of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It ends at the seed of Jacob. But Abraham and Isaac are still Israelites as well. They've come back through the loins of, of, of Israel, of Jacob, man. So it's the same thing. It's all about Israel. It's not talking about Abraham and, and Ishmael. It's not talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, and then maybe Israel. It says Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To thee I will give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. You know? So uh, from there, I'm going to go back to uh, the Galatians and finish that out. I'm not going to make this too long. This, this guy really not uh, uh, worth it. It's just a simple fact. This is, this gives us a job to do. This is the reason why we labor. You know, we labor for the elect, but so that they are not deceived. All right. It's saying, and these shall all nations be blessed. We know what that means now. So then they which be, and which actually, you know, if you want to even get, if you do want to say this, you know, by us, all nations are going to be blessed because we're going to be ruling the earth, man. And the scripture says, when, when the wicked are in, in uh, authority, the people mourn. But when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So yes, the, the earth is going to be a lot more blessed, man. All right? So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. All right? And this is still only talking about the same covenant. All right? This, the first covenant, or the, the Old Testament, is the same as the New Testament, or the New Covenant. Well, I'll say it's not exactly the same, but who it was made with. Yes, that's that's what it's about. Really, the secondary contract was like a it, it was a, it was a plan B the Lord had to to keep his word with us, man. All right. And to show, you know, hey, how much uh, the, the Lord is more righteous and that he loved. Uh, he, he had a, a bond with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, man, because th this is the reason why we get this. That he made a promise with our forefathers, man. Nobody else's. Yes, it's because we're Israelites. But at the same time, you know, just because you're promised to get it to own a business, you know that your your parents own this business and they're gonna leave it to you one day, they're not gonna give you give you something that you're not faithful in, man. All right? They'll give it to your other siblings. So you gotta be found to be a faithful man in this. Otherwise, you will be destroyed and we'll see you on the other side. For as many as are of the works of the of the law are under the curse. <laughs> Which that's another another thing. We hey we we're cursed because we didn't keep we were not able to keep the law, man. That's the reason why we needed a savior. All right. And these curses also show who Israel is, man. So you got Jakes and other lands that are living out curses, man. 
being played, being the, the poorest of the poor, looked down upon by the other nations. You know, even though they might even look like some of them, they're not of them. And those people know it. All right. Cursed is everyone that continues not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them, which is another cut to, the, to, to these, these guys, man. You know, which, hey, this particular guy that I'm talking about, he's not the only one. We had, it was, what was it, 30, 32, 35 fallouts, you know, from the East Coast. It was a Philly camp. You know, I kind of forget which one. You know, I just I just know that hey, they they were teaching the same thing that, that other nations can make it, man. All right, that that's a demon. But that no, it's lucky. But that no man justified by the law in the sight of the Most High, it, it is evident. For the just shall live by faith, and this is the faith, man, that we keep this, we follow this, knowing that we're going to be redeemed. Once again, proving that we're not in the new covenant as a totality. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Hamashiach hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. You know, which is, hey, uh, what, what, is a, what is death? It's a curse. All right. Also leaving, living a plague life, man. You know, the Lord suffered on our behalf. He took the curse up, uh, up for us, man. For it is written, curses every one that hangeth on a tree, you know, because he was uh, crucified. And no, it wasn't an actual literal tree. He was, he was, a uh, he was, um, a, a nail to, to a stake palisade. All right. Verse 14, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Yahweh Shahamashiach, that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith. All right. It says, brethren, I speak after the manner of men. So he's giving you a parable. He's giving you a similitude. This is this is this is what Paul writing. All right. Though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannulleth or addeth thereto. So no other nations can actually, no literal nations can be added to this because they were never a part of it. All right. They can't be grafted in because they were never a part of it. When you graft in a, a tree, you're grafting it in with the same tree. Understand this. You don't graft in olives with, with, with plums. As a matter of fact, the Lord, that said the law did not do that. Literally. All right. This is uh, Galatians 3 and 16. It says, now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He says, not and to seeds as of many, but as of one. And to thy seed, which is Hamashiach, which is proof this is only talking about who? Israel. Because Yahweh came from the loins of Israel. It says he, should, he, he shall save his people from their sins. All right. As well as he was also Isaac. But, you know, you got guys like this, you know, goblin glizzies with mayonnaise straight. <laughs> Salaki, you know, you got guys like this, man, you know, just totally switching things up. But the most high is going to deal with guys like this. I'm not doing that. This is Galatians chapter one. Verse, uh, I'm gonna start at verse three. It says, "Grace be to you and peace from the from the Most High, the Father, and from our Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach, who gave himself himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of the Most High and our Father, to whom be the glory forever and ever." So, we, hey, us teaching this word is us glorifying the Lord. We're glorifying Yahweh Shah by teaching this truth. All right. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of, of Hamashiach unto another gospel. All right. And that's what these guys are doing, man. All right. They've been removed. It's astonishing how far some have fallen. You know. Because it's like, Damn. I almost understood some like one thing, but it's like you got a couple different uh, 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 charges on you, man. That the Most High is gonna get is gonna nail you in the, in, the, in the coffin for. Verse seven it says, "Which is not another. There is no other gospel. There is no uh, 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 well. This could be true with you unity camps. This dude is damn near probably gonna be in a unity camp. I mean, he, I guess pretty much is because uh, those guys. I don't know the other dude name, but them two guys down in Mississippi." I just know the one of war, if he even calls himself that anymore, you know, not saying the names. And I ain't seen this guy rebuke them. 
But he was listening to them before he fell out. And I said, yeah, I said he fell out because when you start teaching something else, even if you claim to still be teaching, you fell out. But once again, oh, you in the new covenant. You, you're not teaching. You're just talking. <laughs> it's fucking madness, man. But it says, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Hamashiach. But though we or an angel, because that's what came into this man's head. You know what that angel was? That lying angel was a demon. A demon has these people teaching lies. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. That means the Lord is going to destroy that man, a.k.a. unalive him. A.K.A. kill him in righteousness for doing wickedness. For do I now persuade men or the most high? Yeah, we're, we're not trying to uh, uh, um, uh, uh, cut corners and, and say, well, Lord, hey, you know, if he wants to just teach this lie, let him teach it. No, man. It's either you get with this or you can you can kick rocks. Or do I seek to please men? We're not here to cut things to to to. To, to trim around your flesh and make it a thing of how Lance should be in the truth, man. For do I, it's like I read that again. For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Hamashiach, which many are not. But hey, there's a part of this place going down. That much we do know. Uh... The Lord raised these men up on the left hand side. He didn't call them unto righteousness, man. They were called, they left the truth, and they were really called to do the job of Satan, to do the bidding of Satan, man. I'm going to just get this last scripture. Then I'm going to close it out. Oh, I thought it was in Timothy. Uh, this is um, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be many false prophets, teachers among you, Salakia, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, which... This guy did try to do that and privily because they'll try to sneak it around first before they really introduce it. They'll try to sneak it around the congregation before they either get kicked out or the spirit just weeds them out, man. They'll start trying to uh, 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 bring that, that leaven in, man. They'll start bringing in leaven. They'll try to speak sweet words to someone, <laughs> act like they, they friends with them. Like say a brother got rebuked, they'll come to that brother or they got rebuked. They both got rebuked. So he's, he's, he's trying to comfort this brother. With 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 with, with uh, a serpent's uh, uh, a massage, like yeah, brother, I understand. Yeah, they maybe you know they probably just wicked because you know what you see this in the scriptures. They don't even follow this and this. So you know, I know we don't teach this, but if they not following this, then they must be you know wrong about this. You know, just being satanic, man. All right, and the Lord is gonna get them for that. But it says, uh, uh, who privily shall bring in damnables, heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them up. Because that's what you guys are doing. When you start teaching those lies, you're not glorifying Yahweh Shai. You're denying him and bring upon themselves swift destruction. When saw we in the street and denied thee? You know, when saw we thee a hundred? Because <laughs> most of these guys even fall out weren't brothers either. But anyway, you know, they were abusive to the brothers, which shows you how they would have done Yahweh Shai. They would have betrayed him just like the betrayer did. But this is 2 uh, Peter uh, 2 and 2. 
And many shall follow their pernicious ways because the Lord has them set up to bring to have a lot of blood on their hands, but to destroy a lot of wicked Israelites as well. You know, just like the Sakari, man. You know, he got he pushing that gang mentality. Well, that's only really reeling in niggas, man. You know. And and, the, and what used to be the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge has become PK, nigga. You know, these guys, they have a a uh, a uh, was it a, a heady? Hi, uh, 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 I'm looking for that word that it says, and um, I'm gonna have to just read it real quick because that was a scripture I was in when I was in that Timothy. Was it the third chapter, uh, Second Timothy's? Yeah, fierce. Yeah, they're really fierce, man. Which that word fierce goes into a savage. These these guys that come into the truth with that niggerish mindset, that rap vibe, a cult of personality mindset, you know the Lord's not dealing with them, man. Trying to be like that 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 nigga that Keisha describes. I want a thug that's tall, but he's book smart, and he has dreads and tattoos. He has long hair like a, like a woman, but he's strong. Yeah, that's that that's that's what these guys are bringing into the truth, man. The Lord ain't dealing with that. That's not a faithful man. The Lord is dealing with a man that's going to follow this word to the best of his ability and keep it. And he's teaching out of the uh, the instruction of his heart of what he knows is, is success to deliver brothers, man. Not folly. It says uh, in verse 2, it says, Many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of, in which they do that. You know, you had the Sakari and, and IUIC will try to label us to, uh, these guys that just go around taking women physically when that's not anything of what we said, man. We know that what's in the scriptures. We know that what won't be unlawful in the kingdom, but we also know that what won't be necessary in the kingdom as well, man. Every man's going to have him a wife. We're going to have many. It's going to be a blessing to, to, to a, 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 a nation, you know, that uh, they... They they being good with us and bringing up bring us all their victuals and all their beautiful daughters, man. All right. And through covetousness, shall they with feign words because they don't have it. Y'all covet the spirit, man. I mean, it's like you don't covet the spirit. You wish you had it, man. You know what you are covetous of is is is, is gain and a name in this world. It says, and through covetousness shall they with feign words. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's funny. It says they will exploit you in their greed because that's what they're doing it for. Whether it be greed of, uh, of a name or greed of making merchandise of these people. All right. They with feign words make merchandise of you. Whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not and their damnation slumbereth not. Because the Lord, hey, the, it was a brother um, uh, that, uh, that um the apostle Gabar had you know he had did a video on you know when he was going in on, on Sakari and uh what he said the Lord is just gonna start unalive and just gonna start killing you guys man your judgment is not slumbering anymore because we're at the end so the Lord is about to come for the house of Israel first for the most high spirit not the angels that sinned but cast them down to hell which we know that that was actual actually us that wasn't a, the actual angels it was it was us coming into these chains of darkness you know as Lord you know, uh, judges with torments upon people when they, they do wickedness and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. All right. And which that's the judgment that we're waiting on. But we and, and we're at the end of that where we're going to be delivered from these bodies of death. All right. But two thirds are going to die in these and come back on the other side. They won't be delivered out of this. Not, not, on, not like that. They gotta they gotta go through it by sacrifice of 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 uh of of death by pain according to the scriptures, man. But um hey, that's all I had. You know, I was just uh I hope it wasn't running too long. Uh, you know, it's gonna be many false prophets that are gonna arise until the end. And hey, as long as as the Lord has us going. Lord willing, we're going to keep on uh, attacking these lies, man. And we're going to keep on getting on the anti-semantics. Hey, because hey, we still, it's according to prophecy, man. We're still going to do it. 
We're just going to have to be a certain way. We're going to have to speak about these things, man. But we, the Lord, he said for us to do it until this end. All right. So with that, I'm going to end this lesson off and give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, Shalom, and Ababa Ball.